Okay, and we're back with part 12. Uh, one thing I did that did happen at the end of the last uh, episode was I, I paused the video but forgot to pause the game, so about two or three minutes of game time flew by unattended. So I'm not exactly sure what went on. The one thing I do know happened was uh, our colony ship, I think, is refueled. Yes, it is. It's selected right now. So that's refueled and ready to go. And we want to bring him into here. Actually, colonize. I guess I could just go right there, can I? Actually, maybe we'll go this way. This way I can visually see what's going on. That's this one here. Hmm. I'm wondering if I shouldn't slip up and grab this one. I think I might. Uh, except I'm kind of prepared to do this. Uh, because this has our extra chromium. I think we're going to go do that one first. Oop. Uh, hit the back key. And it says he's still refueling, but he's full, so he's done. So let's just do that. Colonize. Sure. And then the one we had bookmarked to go there, we'll actually do that one. So actually pause again, and we'll just, this one's just about to finish this off, I guess. Maybe we'll take him up to meet the colony ship. Hey, that's my design. Check that out. Pirates do do that. They'll steal your low-end designs. I don't know whether they do the high-end designs, but uh, I know they'll take your uh, escorts and mining station designs. Ooh, independent colony of Mortalins. So there is information in a data core at that base we just destroyed, uh, indicating a colony of Mortalins in sector D6. my ship styles too. Okay, so let's pause. D6, so way out over here. Ah, oh, way over here. There it is. Uh, oh well, I'm guessing one of these guys will probably grab that before I could even consider it. Alright, oh, we could see a little bit more of this now. Okay, well, that's what the influence was. It was him. Oh, it's a backdrop. That looks like a different color to me. Again, it might be my color blindness doing that. Um, or it's yeah, it's probably just the backdrop shading uh, the circles different. But I think that's the same people. So they're getting kind of close here. And who exactly are they? Is that the Buscar? Yes, it is. And they're pretty aggressive, but they're pleased with us. That's a nice close neighbor we might be able to do some uh, trading with. They approve of our government. And maybe I'll butter them up a bit, too. Actually, I should go check out the Wigu as well. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, let's discuss something else. And they got some tech. Yeah, they have super beam weapons, so I really don't want to get into too much of a fight with them. Chances are they don't have a big enough ship sizes to, to deal with that technology yet anyway, so... Accelerated projectiles. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything I really want to give them. I certainly don't want to give my galaxy mount this time. Uh, area weapons. Hmm. Well, no, don't worry about that right now. One thing I forgot to do. Actually, just come back in here. I just want to check something for a sec. Uh, Cadian, Manta Ray, and Free Lenis. Those are the three. I don't know where they are. I forgot to assign that intelligence agent. Uh, that task last time. We'll take this one out just because he's brand new. And, okay. Cadian. We'll try them first. We'll steal your map. Oop. And go 
circle for the full year, I guess. Territory maps, uh, you got a better chance of grabbing those than, say, stealing research or something. So it's good to test out their character uh, traits just with a simple task like that. I think that's how it works. Okay, so that's all looking good. And good enough. Okay, so... I should see how our retrofit is going here, too. Yeah, three. You're refueling. Did you get retrofitted? Doesn't look like it. What happened to that order? Oh, no, that one's an a Mark II. That's a Mark II. Okay. Uh, one of them didn't get done? Okay, well, we'll just uh, tell you to retrofit then. Yeah, they all got done but one. That's kind of weird. Okay. So that's the... Th where's my second assault? You're sitting there right now. But we want to go up here. Yeah. Okay, move to that system just to meet our colony ship that's on its way. Because chances are if there was a pirate in there, there might be some more still lingering. Oh, that place still. No. Oh. Did I not bring I guess he took off again? He probably went to refuel or something. That's something I actually gotta do. Um we really need to retrofit some of these ships for better uh, fuel capacity. But again, <laughs> I don't want to bankrupt our supply of that either. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe we will. We'll just try a few of them here. Uh, escorts. Maybe we'll just do all the escorts that I have kicking around here. I'm, I'm selecting by fleet. There's none. N these onesies I'm going to do. Just because they're floating around with hardly any fuel capacity. And as we just saw, that they, uh, they'll they just take off and go refuel. And... Okay, let's just do all these. Uh, escort. Escort. A couple of damaged frigates there. Escort. Escorts under the nuns. No, that's all of them. Okay, so I don't really have a whole lot out here. So, oop, we don't want to do that. We want to retrofit. To Mark twos. Okay, they got the retrofit order. I'm not going to do this. I, I don't uh, do everything right away. Uh, just because I don't want everything in retrofitting all at once. So that keeps uh, some people out in the field, or some uh, ships out in the field. Okay, carry on. And that shipyard we're building, I may have pronounced that wrong last time. Bacurus, or Bacurus? I'm not sure. I find most of the naming conventions in this game are fairly easy to pronounce out loud. Uh, I just noticed that doing this series, actually. There's a couple of tongue twisters, but uh, most of them you, you can pretty much say. I don't know if you played other games where uh, the planet names are just outrageous. Okay, I think that's our third fleet starting to get retrofitted. Oh, that was that one off, right? That was that one guy who didn't do it. Yeah, so he's a Mark II now. So that fleet's uh, pretty much ready to go. You just need to refuel. Is that what you're doing? Yes. So he's refueling. And there's our colony ship. And you got plenty of fuel to get there now. So. And... The Indenure Authority has declared war on the Great Pirate. Oh, 
is a paratus hive. It's kind of hard later on to keep track of who's at war, who isn't, so you sort of got to come in here. Uh, let's just pick one. Yeah, you can tell they're at war. So these two are fighting it out right now. That's the, I think that was the notice we just got. Wow, these guys aren't very popular at all, are they? So basically, if you click on these, you, you get to see what their attitudes are towards, or other people's attitudes are towards them. So they're furious. They're cautious. If you go to me, or us, let's see, they're pleased. Uh, and they're pleased. Actually, I should almost butter them up a bit more. Maybe try and get that free trade agreement uh, established. Yeah, what do you got for cash? 154, eh? It's not a whole lot. I don't think I got anything that cheap to swap. No. Plus 22. Maybe I'll just ask them to see if they're interested right now. No deal. Okay, and who else was it? The Great Paratus. Yeah, try it. Oh, we can get through. Oh, we already know their territory, I guess. I must have swapped a map at some point with them, maybe. 139. Uh. Oh, I should at least give them a gifty. Butter them up a bit. Yeah, if they're pleased with me, I'll try and get some free trade going. Oh. Oh, that's in there. So they're just friendly, they're not pleased. But friendly 28. Okay, friendly is better than pleased, I guess. Okay. So we'll keep working on that. Hopefully a free trade will come along. I find after you butter them up a few times, they actually approach you for a free trade. Although I do have the aggression cranked up a bit, so that might be a little harder to do. And we got a construction ship done. Actually, we might have a couple done, I don't know. Oop. The screen. Okay, oops. Ah. Hit the scroll wheel before I selected something. Okay, um... How are numbers looking? Carbon fiber's still kind of low, but I think that's coming. Chromium should get more of that shortly once we get that planet. Yeah. And the inflation, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, no. Uh, luxuries, uh, luxury uh, that price is always different. 3.3, uh, let's see, where's that loris fruit? Let's see where that, uh, there's the loris fruit, 255. So we definitely want to get that. That's, uh, that's worth a lot. Even the Caribbean spice, that's another uh, rare luxury. It's only at 100. Uh, is Intabia Fluids the other one? 131. So Lors Fruit is the biggest one in demand, I guess. Yep. Okay. Oh, I just almost left without uh, doing our construction. Got sidetracked. Okay, iridium Gold. Ah. I guess I could almost start automating those constructors. But you know what? They go halfway across the galaxy just to do one thing. And it's more trouble than they're worth to let them go off on their own. Uh, get another source of that. Yeah, it's sort of just random choice now. What I got? Got all our criticals down. So okay. And here come our escort retrofits. your story. Oh, that's our colony ship. Oh, is that just sitting in there still? Okay, I gotta deal with that. Uh, oh, who have we got? Actually, why don't we bring our third fleet over? Who's still trying to refuel? Okay, let's stop that. Hit refuel again. Where are you going? 
<sighs> okay, I guess we'll have to let that happen first. You call any governor? What destroyer? That one probably up there. Yep. See, I knew it. I knew that pirate base would be back. Good thing I brought these guys up here. Ooh, there's ships here too. Actually stop, they're gonna come over. Let's take them out over there first. I guess I could put this on defend. That'd probably stop them from taking off on their own. And investigate the ruins. Colony bonus or empire bonus when colonized. Happiness bonus of ten. That almost looks like a volcanic sort of deal. No, desert. It's a desert moon. Where is it? Oh, it's in here. Well, we don't have the tech for it anyways. Ooh, that's pretty close. E. That's not good at all. Ooh, hurry up, third fleet, I need you. Oh, refueled. Okay, good. And that doesn't look like much range, does it? Do we still got a... Okay. Do we still have a ship that's not retrofitted? What is the range? 420. 420. 420. Ah, oh, There's still one not done here. Well... I haven't got time to wait for it, so I'm just going to pull that out of the fleet and take the fleet up. Just go get that. Okay. Wait. Oh, that's the wrong place. I'm just going to say, where did that pirate base go? We're over here. Okay, so, take out those two ships. Oh, where'd you go? Okay, I know where you went. Take care of that, that's fine. Seven fifty-two credits out of that. Okay, pause. We gotta refuel these guys, big time. I should almost get a couple of uh, resupply ships going. Okay, just out of curiosity, if I hit refuel, where are you gonna go? Oh. Oh yeah, we got that gas mining station in there. Good. Actually, you refuel too. Excellent. Okay. That's a good thing. Oh, I should... Ah, stop. I, leave, I gotta leave him there till that colony ship gets there. Okay, pause. I think there's a couple pirates still left in there, too. Uh, getting ahead of myself here. Move back to there. Yeah, we'll wait till that colony ship gets in there. Yep, the pirates are still in there, so good call on that one. Almost messed up. Actually, I'm probably messing up on a few things, but well. Ah, so monetary gift. Thanks. Goodbye. And I already know your uh, territory map uh, is pretty much known already, so I'm not going to do that deal. And go. And we're saving the galaxy again. Doo 
do 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 do. That's starting to get a little longer. Okay. Uh, second fleet is sitting there. First fleet is refueling. Um, let's go check our queues here. Empty. Okay. And how's our cargo? That's looking pretty good now. Yeah, chromium's still kind of light, but, uh... I think we can start building some stuff for sure. Let's do it. So, what do we want to do here? I guess, uh, well, we definitely need some more assault fleets. The good thing about building new is I don't have to retrofit. Um, and I'd like just as soon like to leave my onesies out there doing what they're doing. Um, how many ships to put in each fleet, though? I think, uh, I think we'll go with four of each. Again, I'm going to do these separately, so purchase. I'm going to get maybe three more fleets. Oop. Two. And three. And then once we get our next tech level, we'll be able to get some cruisers to add to all these. So, And again, the reason I did that uh, build separately, like uh, pulled that screen off three times, is uh, first of all, if you don't want, if you want to reset your sort to default so that anything new is at the bottom, click this this one right here. So, because if we come into our military ships right now, we come to the bottom where they usually are, they're not here. And that's because we've sorted differently. So if we click that, and we got to come back out and in. So if we go to colony ships and then come back into military ships, come down to the bottom, and there's all our new stuff again. So that took me a while to figure out. <laughs> so um, so once again, because we've uh, done the three separate builds, it's, it's a quick select in here now to do this. So new fleet. And we don't want them automated. And again, new fleet. And we ought to, okay, so, oops. And the last one, there. So, I just find it quicker to bring that build screen up three times than it is to try and sort out uh, the stuff in here. It's just a little quicker and easier, I find. And hopefully you'll find it easier, too. Okay, so... And there's our three fleets we just built. I'm just going to quickly reassign the name or rename these. So fourth assault, and fifth assault, and seventh assault. And that's usually what I build is seven assault fleets, so I can assign these hotkeys of one through seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven will be my assault fleets. And then I usually run with two invasion fleets, so there'll be eight and nine. And that takes up all our hotkeys. A zero I keep free just in case I want to quickly bookmark uh, something out there, like a colony ship or something that I want to keep coming back to. Then uh, it's just available to me. I wish there was more hotkeys, really, but I think the one to nine, one to zero is all you can set up. I haven't tried anything else, but uh, that's usually enough for me. So there we go. Now, so we got some fleets coming, so that should fill up our queues a bit. Let's just quickly have a look at that. Yep. So there's our fleets coming. Looks like most of them are being built here. Again, if we sort this way. Yep, so they're sort of spread around between the three spaceports. I could almost uh, maybe upgrade these to a medium just to speed this stuff along. I actually might do that. I don't know whether they're making really enough money to support a large. Yeah, not really. Actually, they're not even really making money to support a medium. That's uh, this one and this one, I think. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, we'll leave them at small for now. 
because if we come in here and look at our oops, state bases, we'll see a maintenance on a medium is 3,600. And a couple of those plans weren't even making 2K yet. So I kind of like to have the, the system pay for their own spaceports rather than uh, cover the cost of them anyways. Okay, what else do we need to be doing here? So I guess the retrofits for escorts are all done. So what I might do now is the destroyers. Get those retrofitted. So sort by fleet again. And go to military. And we'll just... Uh, just uh, select these up. Uh, destroyers. Destroyers. I think that might be all about all I have out here, really. Oh, there's a couple more. Oh, I built about a dozen at that one point, didn't I? So there's a very few of these out there. And there, that's all the independent destroyers. So let's maybe retrof oop, uh, retrofit those. I don't think I have a whole lot of frigates. I might as well do those while I'm in here now. I think there's just a few of these out here, so I might as well do those too. Then everybody has the good fuel capacity. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now those are damaged or something there. I might select them anyways. I might get repaired while they're retrofitting. So. And frigates, more frigates. Actually, built a fair few of those. I don't recall doing that. But. Okay, so hopefully nothing drastic happens while all this retrofitting is going on. Okay. How come those aren't doing anything? Oh, that might be the... No? Alright. Well, that should take care of that. I just have to do my first assault fleet to get that up to snuff. They're still refueling there. Well, since I got that fleet and the third fleet coming up here, I think I'm going to head them back and we'll get that retrofit done. So I'll just move to the Elorian system. And you guys are just hanging out there waiting for that colony ship. And we have a construction ship done. So once again come in here. This does get a little repetitive doing this. Like I said you could automate these if you want. Um, I don't think we are. No, we're not calling it, going to colonize that one. So let's get that. It's got more necrostone on it. So we'll get that one. Oh, I have a couple of call, uh, constructors ready to do stuff. Danthifer and Wyconium. Yeah, why not? Oh, I've been slack on the construction ship. There's a bunch ready to do something here. So, uh... All right, get some more lead steel, that sort of stuff. What else we got going on here? It's somewhat close by. Yeah, get some more of that. Oh, we're out of construction ships anyways, okay. Yes, I gotta reassign. Oh, is that colony ship coming? 72%. And how is our uh, Bacarus? Yeah, I think I pronounced it. I think I call it a Bascarus or something earlier. 90% complete. Okay, so that uh, that's going to help our uh, colonization efforts for sure. Because these colony ships will be done real quick after that's done. Okay, so there's a couple of explorers out here still doing their thing. I should almost build a few more of those. I think I will. I think I got seven right now, so they're saying get five more. That'd be a dozen of them. Yeah, why not? That'll get the map done quicker. 
And like you said, once the exploration is done on those, I'll, uh, I'll retrofit them to have long-range scanners, and then I'll just sort of pepper them around my own, uh, own areas here. And they're already automated, so we'll leave them like that. And we're, <laughs> we're at 30 minutes again, and we got another abandoned base encountered. Yeah, how badly is this one going to blow up in her face? No, oh, we boarded it and taken control. It is a monitoring station. Okay, so we come out, and where is that? Oh, nice spot. That's nice, because I, I want to get aggressive with these guys, so it'll be nice to have that there. I might be able to see their fleets coming through. Nice. Of course, this, these pirates might take it. Is there any weaponry on this thing? Shatter force laser, that's a... That's a higher-end laser. Uh, and it's got mega-density fuel cells. There's some good tech on this one. So let's just have a quick look at that. So it's got a damage of 7, range of 320. What's our blasters at? 6 and 220. So yeah, definitely a better weapon. So it'll be able to defend itself for sure. Okay, good. That's a great find, that. See, I can already see one of his ships right there. That's one of his escorts. Excellent. Okay, we're at 31 minutes. Uh, once again, this uh, half hour flew by. And there's our shipyards built. Beautiful. Okay, we'll have a look at that when we come back. Anyways, uh, we'll draw this one to a close. And thanks again for joining me.